Well, howdy, y'all. Welcome to another episode of Roundhouse Ranch Barbecue. Uh, in this episode, I'm going to be doing something a little different. It's not really barbecue. Yeah, I'll be using the Weber kettle, but it still doesn't really qualify as barbecue. Uh, I was tagged by Meathead in the Go Outside and Cook Challenge. Now, going outside and cooking, that's something I normally do. That's, that's my modus operandi, if you will. Uh, so I decided to do something a little different. I needed breakfast this morning. So I decided that I was going to have sausage, gravy, and biscuits with scrambled eggs. All homemade, except for the biscuits. Those were store-bought. Uh, <clears throat> and I was going to make them on my Weber kettle in cast iron. So I did. And now you're going to get to see how I did it. Come on. Okay. So what you can see here, what we did, is we're just taking our charcoal chimney starter that we've got right here, and I just took some newspaper, stuck it up under the bottom of it, and then we're going to go ahead and take some charcoal. Now I'm using royal oak charcoal this time, I usually use Kingsford, but this royal oak was on sale and it was cheap, so I got a big old bag of it, and that's what we're going to use. We're just going to go ahead and take it and we're going to dump enough in to fill that chimney all the way to the top. Alright, now that we've got our charcoal chimney starter filled up with charcoal, we're just going to take a regular old lighter. It's easier if you use a large or a long lighter. But I didn't have one at this point, so I just went ahead and used a small lighter and just light the newspaper underneath it on fire. Uh, make sure that it's lit well and it'll start burning. And once it burns, it's going to go ahead and go all the way up and it's going to light all that charcoal up. Now when that charcoal is all nice and ashed over, that's when it's done and ready. And we're going to go ahead and dump that right straight onto the, onto the charcoal grate of the grill. At that point, we'll be ready to keep on cooking. I know you can't see it right now, but they're good and ash over. They're ready to dump. We're going to go ahead and dump it for the epic fire spark video. And boom, there you have it. And we're just going to take those coals, which you can clearly see now are nice and ash over. We're going to go ahead and take those and spread those out just a little bit. Throw the grate back on. Throw the uh, cooking grate back on. And then go ahead and throw that lid back on. And uh, let the thing come up to temp. Okay, now you can see here, I've got one pound of just regular maple uh, country style sausage. This is Jimmy Dean or Owens, I don't remember what kind it was, but it's tasty. We're just going to brown it up here in our lodge cast iron skillet. We're going to go ahead and just chop it up and cut it up into kind of chunky pieces, kind of not chunky pieces. Uh, and you're going to stir it around and let it cook until it gets well browned, browned well over. Okay, we've got this sausage about all browned up now. We're good to go on it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start incorporating our regular white flour into it. And I'm not using any measurements or anything really. Uh, we did it drain the grease out of this sausage. So I'm just going to go ahead and take some flour. I just use a little small handful. And just kind of sprinkle it all throughout that sausage in there. Uh, just sprinkle till I thought it was enough and then we're going to go ahead and stir it around and incorporate it in that sausage and in that grease. This is going to make our little roux kind of our base for our gravy. Alright and after we do that and after I'm satisfied that there's enough flour in there we're going to go ahead and add just some regular old milk. Okay I've got this 
this other large cast iron skillet that I've had sitting over the stove here for a little bit warming up. Uh, I went ahead and put some used bacon grease in there. Uh, I think if I were doing it in the future, I would have put that much bacon grease in. But you say it turned out a little greasy, but it's okay. Uh, it wasn't that big of a deal. And uh, all, you, all you do is you take your eggs and you crack them. And then just go ahead and drop them right into the skillet there, and they'll start to cook up. So you got you got to be fairly quick when you're doing this. You go ahead and crack this other egg, throw it in there, and then we're going to take our spatula. We're just going to break the yolks and stir those around and make some scrambled eggs out of that. Uh, the kettle's not level really, so all this grease is kind of coming over here to one side. So I was able to kind of once they started to solidify a little bit, I was able to kind of move them off over onto the not so greasy side. But all in all, it turned out pretty good, and this is how I did the scrambled eggs on here. up my breakfast here what I've got you can see I've got these eggs that you just watched me cook out there on the Weber kettle and I've got these extra jumbo butter flavored biscuits that uh, I got from butchers they're just a store brand and uh, went ahead and cooked them in the oven as according to the, the uh, directions mostly because I couldn't find my cast iron skillet to cook, or my, my cast iron excuse me my, my Dutch oven to cook them in and I don't really know of any other way to cook them on it on the Weber kettle other than in the Dutch oven. So I went ahead and cheated and put them in the, in the stove, but everything else I cooked outside and I made myself, so I think we're okay there. Uh, <clears throat> but anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take two of these biscuits, I like to split them in half, and just kind of domino effect the, the, two, the two halves, and we'll put them on the plate here. And we'll go ahead and spoon and scoop some gravy out on, on, on top of them after we go ahead and get them split up and put on the plate. So that's how I did my go outside and cook challenge. I made some sausage gravy and biscuits and uh, <coughs> excuse me, and some scrambled eggs. I did it all on the Weber kettle with the exception of the biscuits, which you saw out. Uh, I think for the three people that I'm going to challenge or tag or call out in this video, I'm going to call out Kent at Daddy Dutch Cooking and Barbecue. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and call out Matt over at the Hungry Hussy. I don't believe I've ever called him out before. He just hit 10,000 subscribers on his channel. Y'all go check him out. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call out and tag Scott Bailey over at uh, The Real Show Barbecue. So yeah, that's who I'm gonna go ahead and tag and call out. You guys go check him out. I'll put a link to, the, to uh, each of their channels in the description. Go check them out. And I can't wait to see what they cook in response to this challenge. Uh, yeah, anyway, I guess that's it. Uh, this has been another episode of Roundhouse Ranch Barbecue. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.